from this average Pennsylvania high school. 12 students are beginning the adventure of a lifetime. They have volunteered to be marooned in the middle of the Pennsylvania wilderness to raise awareness for pediatric cancer. This is their story. This is Mr. and Mrs. Minithon. You won't win this thing. 12 high school students about to begin the adventure that will change their lives and the lives of many others. They've been given two minutes to salvage any survival equipment they can out of Stroudsburg High School. Their destination? This creek. For the next 40 days, they'll be marooned, left to fend for themselves. 12 classmates forced to band together, carve out a new existence. They have to learn to adapt or they'll be voted out. It's right there. In the end, only four will remain. These four will present their honesty, wisdom, courage, and strength at Strasburg Minithon event. The boy and girl who display each quality the most will walk away with the titles of Mr. and Mrs. Minithon as their reward. 40 days, 12 students, one Mr. and Mrs. Minithon. It's day three, we're still getting to know each other, and I met this girl named Eva. I think she's gonna be my best friend. <laughs> I cheated. I've really noticed everyone is kind of going off into their own cliques. Me and Tatum, we're like this. Uh, Tyler, he's kind of off to the side, I don't know, maybe forming his own clique. Guys, everybody else is making alliances, and we gotta stick strong if we're gonna get them at the end. I think we should make an alliance. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think that went really well. I have a new alliance, and I think that they're gonna stick strong with me till the end. There's no way that they could ever, like, go behind my back. I think they're really close with me. Like, <laughs> it's like... I mean, I don't really trust him to be in our alliance. I mean, I don't really know the kid. Plus, I saw him climbing some trees earlier, and he looks so, like a really good competitor. I think he needs to go next. He needs to be eliminated. First. Gone. trying to make a fire and all the elements were working against us. Oh like, my gosh! This is ridiculous! We started rubbing sticks together, but that didn't work at first. And then we found flint and steel, and all of us got really happy like that was gonna work. And then it didn't work. Tyler. And then out of nowhere, Ava comes out of the woods with fire. Hey guys, look, I got a fire. What? Like, who finds fire in the middle of the woods? How did I get fire? Good question.
Oh my god! Whoa! Bring it! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Ah! <laughs> to decide the top woman and man, your fate will be sealed inside a tin can. In today's challenge, Kyle Frack will be replaced by senior David Kutteroff. Ava Lieberman will be replaced by junior Melissa Singh. Charlie Gohl, Katie Howard, Tamara Toppin, and Tatum Corwin will not participate in this challenge. Alright contestants, welcome to the first challenge. It's going to be the tin can challenge. Everyone's going to come, one by one, pick a number out of this pot. Each number corresponds to a can that I have in this bag. And then we're all going to line up, open our cans together, and whoever has what they have, you have to eat it. Sounds good? Yep. All right, Melissa, step forward. Have the cans open? Got it. Yep. Yes, sir. All right, go for it. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, Jake, what do we have in here? Uh oh, spaghetti. <laughs> oh Brandon Jasmine, the big dog. Ew. Dog food. Belongs. Nice. Oh, what you got? I, I, artichoke. artichoke. I just want one. Oh, David, what you got going on here? Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Classic grandma's Thanksgiving dinner. How's everyone doing? Everyone doing all right? Oh, this is chilling. Ah, my man, Colin. I did it. Homeboy, how are you? Why are you spinning over by the stuff? You okay? Talk to me. Talk to me. Tastes freaking amazing. Oh man. Delisa, mm. I did it. All right, nice work, guys. How, how, how was it? How did it taste? How are your meals? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. She's still she enjoying her mangoes, so I think she really is the real winner here. I ate all of it. That was Thank Brandon. That was really impressive. Thank you. Uh, Jake, sorry your spaghettios weren't as good as it might seem. Tyler, make sure you don't have any corn stuck in your teeth. Maddie, uh, nice work getting a whole artichoke down. And the olives. No. Fantastic. Right. We have a couple more cans there, Colin, if you want to grab them, take them home. It's fine. Feel free to finish off your cans later, back at camp. I don't want them, so I hope you don't have any upset stomachs. Hope you guys are doing alright with that. I'll see you guys back at camp. Yo, my flint and steel, I can start a fire so easy with this. Just spark it a few times and boom, fire. Bro, you see this? This is meant for killing bears. If any bear got a problem, oh. I didn't know that we were supposed to be serious. For my luxury item, I put my eyebrows. I thought it would be funny. Honestly, you know, I don't really trust Charlie. He's always trying to get in my face and argue with me about everything. It's so annoying. You know what do we fight about? It's a good question. Well, you know, the audience may have not noticed your mess-ups, but the rest of the cast did. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I sang way more songs than you and got way more applause than you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad this year you got more applause than me.
Jake and Charlie are always fighting about who's better in the musical. I'm the one who has to always break them up. Everyone is starting to get really annoyed by Jake and Charlie's constant arguing. I think one of them's gonna have to go next. You know, we really haven't even been here that long and people are already starting alliances like Eva and Tatum. My strategy is to just sort of, you know, stay on the outside of every group just to make sure I get that padding so that when everybody else leaves, I'm still here. I'm glad that Brandon was able to break us up. But if he talks about everything, nobody's gonna think that like, you know. Yeah, honestly, at this rate, if we keep it up, we're gonna stay all the way to the end. Exactly. In today's challenge, tribe members will be asked a series of Strasbourg Minithon related trivia questions. Tribe members must write their answers on their provided notepads. If they answer correctly, they remain standing for the next question. If they give an incorrect answer, they must return to camp immediately. The last person standing will have proven themselves as the wisest member the group has to offer. Competing for Kyle Frack, we have sophomore Patrick Noonan. Competing for Katie Howard, we have senior Sydney Jones. Competing for Maddie Regany, we have senior Joey Semino. Competing for Tyler Schreppenheiser, we have senior Jesse Boys. And competing for Ava Lieberman, we have junior Taylor Craig. All right, are you guys ready to get to today's challenge? All right, today we're gonna do trivia. We're gonna get right started. What does FTK stand for? Let's see what you guys can come up with. Reveal your answers. Colin, come on, bro. You had plenty of time. All right. All right, everyone's good for that one. Next question. Out of which university does the largest student-run philanthropy, known as THON, operate? Is it A, Michigan, B, Penn State, C, North Carolina, or D, Harvard? All right, reveal your answers. All right, everyone got that one good, too. Okay. Our school colors in use today are maroon, white, gray, and black. What other school color that we used to have are we no longer using today? Is it A, a trick question, B, green, C, powder blue, or D, gold? All right, show me what you got. All right, the correct answer was D, gold. Anyone got it wrong? Get out of here. Nah, I'm calling it an account. Question number four. What structure once existed on Strasburg's campus near your campsite now? Is it A, a swinging bridge, B, public restrooms, C, a statue of Mr. Sotol, or D, a statue of Jacob Stroud? Alright, what do you got? The correct answer is A, a swinging bridge. But everyone got that wrong, so all of you can stay. Actually, since you all got that wrong. All right, we'll try the next question, see what happens. All right, question number five. Who is the boy who created the four diamonds? Is it A, Christopher Millard, B, Cannon McMillan, C, Connor Millard, or D, Christopher McMillan? All right, everyone ready? Let's see what we got. The correct answer is A, Christopher Millard. All right, if everyone got it wrong again, we're gonna try one more time for another question. This, everyone should get this answer right. What is Strasburg Minithon's goal this year? Is it A, 90,000? 
B, $100,000, C, $110,000, or D, $120,000. I all know this one. Alright, what we got? The correct answer is $100,000 B. Alright, everyone got that one right. Oh, hmm, this is an interesting question. There are many elementary schools that operate or have operated under Strasburg Area School District. Which of the following is no longer in use and used to be a high school? Is it A, Clearview, B, Arlington, C, Shipperfield, or D, Ramsey? Alright, let's see what you got. The correct answer is D, Ramsey. Alright, this is the final question. Anyone who gets this right will be the, ch the champion or co-champion, depending on how many people get it wrong. Alright. Well, last question. Which of the following was not once found in Strasburg High School? Is it A, a rifle range, B, a swimming pool, C, a planetarium, or D, two basement cafeterias. Why would you put a cafeteria in the basement? I don't know. Everyone, everyone ready? All right, C, C, swimming pool. pool. The answer is B, swimming pool. All right, we have our two winners. Bro, you bro, you're not serious right now, bro. You're not serious right now. <laughs> it was totally me who knocked on the water, but I think everybody believed me, and now I think they all hate Brandon. Bro, first you broke my bear killer, you spilled the water, and you broke the shells, the magic shells. Yeah, no one believes him. Bro, you're such a liability. I don't need you here. No more. Spearfishing. I uh, I found a new hobby, spearfishing. I'm pretty good at it. Lately, I've been the only one bringing food back around here, so um, they really gotta pick up the slack. So, Brandon, the last uh, I don't know three or four days we've gone crabbing. Uh, you've been there with the basket and I've been there holding the net and you know what you bring up every single time? What? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's Other not true. Seaweed. Yeah. You bring up seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed. So, um, what do you think about being in the lines? That Brandon kid? I really hate him. I mean, I don't like him either. He spilled that water. He's, he spilled it everywhere. And he broke my swing shot. A lot of people are against him now. As much as I hate you, I think we should be in the lines. So I don't like it either. I like it. I really I do. do. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go, let's go, let's go. Against Katie, right? Yeah. Take her out first. Take her out first. Yeah. Wisdom and courage. We've seen how you use it, but if you lack the strength, you'll surely lose it. For today's challenge, Charlie Gold will be replaced by senior David Cutteroff. Katie Howarth will be replaced by junior Melissa Singh. Ava Lieberman, Kyle Frack, Tamara Toppin, and Tatum Corwin will not participate in this challenge. Alright, 
Welcome everyone. How you guys doing today? Woo! All right. Yeah. All right. So today we're gonna do the strength challenge. Pretty simple actually. You got two teams of four. And what's gonna happen? You're all gonna line up. The first person's gonna go jump all over these hurdles, zigzag through the cones, and do the exact same thing. Come back. And the next person's gonna go. The last person, the fourth person, you're gonna jump the hurdles, zigzag through the cones. But then you're gonna go to the other side of the field to that fence. And if you're on this this side, you got the blue. Bandana, if you're on this side, you got the red bandana. Untie it, jump through the hurdle, zigzag through the cone, jump through the hurdles, come back, and then the first person to hand me that bandana wins the challenge. Any questions? I'm gonna pick two captains for each team. I'm gonna pick Jake and Dillis as uh, team captains. Okay. And go ahead and pick your teams, Jake. Uh, no, Dillis, ladies first. You got it. Pick it first. Good? Alright, get in order. Alright guys, everyone ready? On your mark, get set, go! Let's go, we got two track athletes. Two track athletes. <laughs> Jump! Do the same thing back. Wait, no, Jalissa, you're too quick. All right, no, Jalissa, that's all you. That's all you. Alright guys, congratulations to the red team for winning. Even though Jalissa running through those hurdles straight through like that, I didn't appreciate. You made me do a lot more work than I needed to. So, thanks. But, you know, honestly, good work. So why does everyone just go head back to camp, get some rest? You guys worked hard out here. So it's the last day before we choose the final four. Not much is going on. Everyone's just not talking to each other. It's a very tense atmosphere. Go! Go, Brandon! Yo, oh, someone needs to catch me, yo. Nah, I can't get down. We've been through three challenges now and we've seen how wise, courageous, and strong everybody is and how they measure up to each other. I've been through a lot of alliances throughout this game and I don't know how they're really going to work out for me, so I'm going to find this idol somewhere. I've been looking forever, but it just doesn't seem to be working out for me. Oh no, man, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm gonna find this eventually and then it'll solidify my place in the game. No way. No, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, I found it! I found the idol! <laughs> I 
found it! Yes. Our Mr. and Mrs. Minithon contestant's journey is now coming to an end. After three challenges in 40 days, the tribe will now pack up their survival supplies and head off to Tribal Council. At Tribal Council, the tribe will cast votes in favor of their fellow tribes. These votes will determine our top four who will then go on to perform at Strasbourg's Minithon event. Alright everyone, welcome to Tribal Council. One of my favorite parts of this whole thing, but it's sad to see that it's almost done. Before we really get started, I want everyone to take a look at the fire. To me, fire means a lot more than just burning and destruction. The wood symbolizes the foundation that we established when we first started. The fire itself represents the burning passion we all have for each other and what it is we're actually doing. So, I want to thank you all for sacrificing your time and your strength, wisdom, honesty, and courage. So give yourselves a round of applause. Alright. Alright everybody, this is how voting is going to work. You're each going to pick one guy, one girl, who you believe represents all four virtues that we established the past 40 days. Strength, wisdom, honesty, and courage. And the top two from each side is going to move on to the final competition. So how voting works is that you're going to step up to the podium, write the two names on a piece of paper, and explain to the camera why you picked those two people. Any questions? Uh, yeah, I, I found this token of immunity, and I, I just wanted to say that I'm safe. Can you see that? Right here. Um, so you actually found one of our fake tokens. We leave this around. I'm trying to mess with you a little bit, so sorry I, about that. I'm going to keep it anyway, though. I am. So you. Right, thanks. No problem. Nice try though. Any other questions? No? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Colin, you're gonna start out with voting for us. Melissa, you're gonna vote in place of Tatum. And David, you're gonna vote in place of Kyle. Alright, Colin, go ahead and vote. because they show all four qualities of what Minithon really stands for. So, everyone put in the votes, and now today we're going to find out who's going to move on to the top four. Who's ready? Yeah? So remember, every vote for a person is a good thing. So, the more votes you get, the better chance you have of moving on. So, we have one vote for Brandon and Jalissa. We have another vote for Brandon, one for Katie. And we'll keep track of your votes. Colin, or actually, Colin, and Jalissa. <laughs> Brandon and Jalissa again. So I think I have an idea of who's top two. Colin and Jalissa. All right. Jalissa and Brandon again. Okay. Brandon and Jalissa for what, the fifth time? 
Maddie and Jake finally switching up a little. Maddie and Tyler, all right. Katie and Tyler, okay. Charlie and Jalissa, who would vote for Charlie? No one likes him like that. All right. And last, Jake and Jalissa. Oh, all right, guys, so we know who's ahead and we know who's behind. Maddie, Colin, Tyler, Jalissa, Jake, and Katie. You guys seem to be ahead, and also Brandon. And the rest of you, Try with Wilkin. Yeah, that was a good run though. Let's give them a round of applause. They, they did do well. Hope you had fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a three-way tie between Colin, Tyler, and Jake. The three of you can come up here. We'll have a tiebreaker. All right, so in this bin, there's three items. One of them is not like the other. Whoever gets that one, wins. All right, Colin, not looking. Take your first pick. When you pick it up, don't look at it yet. Tyler, good luck. Jake. Last one. Such a hard decision. <laughs> All right. Show me what you got. Looks like Colin's our winner. Try to smoke. Try to smoke. <laughs> Try to smoke. <laughs> Boy, gentlemen. We have the same problem with Katie and Maddie. Ladies, you can step up and handle it the same way. Alright, show me what you got. Alright, looks like Maddie's our winner. Well, I'm really thankful that everyone who participated voted for me. I'm also really excited for Friday. It's going to be fun. Um, I didn't really expect to be one of the four finalists, but now that I am, I'm excited to win. It's really humbling to be nominated um, and that everyone thought I had what it takes because I didn't even think that I had what it takes. To be in the top four is normal. I knew I was going to be in the top four. I feel like I embody the four virtues uh, by like definitely courage because it's going to take a lot of courage to go up and perform on Friday especially and I'm very excited for that and just raising all that money is going to make me feel really good. All right, on a serious note, I just want to say thank you for anyone that voted for me. It took a lot of courage to stand up with these midgets all day. So thank you very much. Thanks for voting for me, and you guys are ready for a show.